Uh, the question is, can you clarify the difference between the spiritual heart and the physical heart? Uh, he said that the human being has two parts to him, one which is seen and the other which is unseen. This physical mechanical heart, and it is a morsel of flesh, in a cone shape, and about the size of a fist, which leans towards the left side of the chest. This is from the world of the scene. The doctors study it. So they look the left and the right chamber. When does it start in pumping blood? <coughs> How many uh, pumps in one minute? Uh, this is the world of the scene which can be studied by the scientists and the doctors. <coughs> However, Allah, <coughs> when He mentions the heart in the Quran, <coughs> He does not refer to this particular morsel of flesh or this muscle. This muscle is even in the animals and creatures. For example, the donkey has a heart, and the dog has a heart, and the human being has a heart. They all fulfill the same function. What is uh, really um, here referred to is the spiritual heart. It is like the spirit. It's a secret from the secrets of Allah. It has a connection to this muscle. For instance, when the Prophet says that the heart of the believer is white filled with white filled with light, the believer in Allah, if we were to uh, open his chest, we will not see any physical light in his heart. This is a spiritual light which Allah refers to. So he said, Indeed, in, in this, meaning in the Qur'an, is indeed a reminder for he who possesses a heart or a heart. All people have hearts, but many people do not ponder or remind, are reminded with the ayat of the Qur'an. So what is referred to is this spiritual heart, which understands the address and no, and realizes the affair, understands the address of its Lord, and understands the matter, and recognizes and is aware of things, and not just this uh, flesh. This is the spiritual heart, and the light within it also appears when these uh, when these lights go out, when uh, the human being is lowered in his grave, and there is no light and there is no sun, when he is given a different life in the grave, where you don't need oxygen, nor do you need nourishment or food or air or water, these spiritual affairs start to appear. So the spiritual heart and its light will now become uh, outward and manifest. And this uh, light which is spiritual. We believe in this. And we will see it then. As for the prophets, from now they see these things. They see that which is spiritual. How they are converted to that which is then seen. Look at the spiritual affairs. They are then converted to those things which we can actually sense. For instance, the Prophet said that prayer and fasting will intercede for the Muslim. Uh, fasting will say, O oh my Lord, I prevented him from eating and drinking. And the Quran will say, O oh my Lord, I prevented him from sleeping at night. So look, the world of the souls, not in this seen, tangible world, these Fasting is just simply refraining from eating and drinking, but it will be given a particular form. 
and the Quran will be made manifest and given a form. This will be in the next life. In the, in the life of this world, which is governed by causes and laws, it has its own order which Allah has brought into existence. And the hereafter, again, has its own order. And the world of the body has its own order. And the world of the spirit also has its own order.